In this video, I'll be ranking all of the Roblox biomes from the very best, which I love and use, to the absolute worst. S being the best, F being the worst. High chances are my opinions may not align with yours. And if so, cry about it. Can't? Let's get started with the basics, the grass biome. I genuinely think if there's any person somewhere out in the universe who has unironic complaints towards the grass biome has been dropped by their father who doesn't live with them anymore. Personally, whenever I'm working on the map, I prefer to aim for a realistic look. Like, I do understand Robux as a whole is probably the most distant thing from reality. But listen up, when was the last time you wanted to build your world out of candy or blue crystal? Actually, one of them sounds profitable. But returning to the grass biome. S tier all day, baby. You love to see the first item on the list <laughs> being in S tier. Now this is where things turn to quite the opposite. The mushroom biome. Somehow I have never created a world which came with this biome. I have never even considered using this biome when working on any of my maps. And I'm not going to lie, when I was writing the script for this video, I had to go into the game to check how the biome looked like so I could actually properly rate it. Because I see this biome as rarely as the mushroom biome inside of Minecraft. Certainly it's not the worst biome on the list, but by far the most forgettable one. Like whenever I browse the Steam Workshop, to make myself feel small and tantless in comparison to some kid who recreated Europe in this game. I have never ever come across a map which used this biome. As I said, it's not the best, it's not the worst looking biome, I'll have to put in C. But when was the last time you wanted to create a world out of mushrooms? This generation probably even doesn't know about the smurfs. And talking about not that great biomes, we have the corrupted biome. Whenever I feel like playing on a randomly generated world, and I happen to get a map which mainly consists of this biome, I take a deep breath in, which is filled with disappointment and agony, and hit make a new world again. This is certainly, if not the ugliest biome in the entire game. I'm hated, I'm never happy to see it. This biome is comparable to the feeling it's nearly end of class, you wanna go home, and the teacher goes up to the whiteboard to write down some homework. It's never a pleasant surprise, this biome just sucks. I do understand the biome is supposed to be spooky and not so pleasant looking, but it does a bad job. I hate the composition of this biome, I don't think the trees mix well with the grass. If we have the corrupted biome and mushroom biome like against one another, the mushroom biome is eye candy compared to this. It's either E tier or F. I will leave it in E for now. The infernal biome. Despite myself usually aiming for realism, occasionally I actually do use this biome. In contrast to the ugly corrupted biome, I think all assets from the color of the grass to the vegetation mixes it very well all together. The biome does have its own like fire monsters which I find pretty cool, making the biome quite dangerous in comparison to others. And I do know the corrupted biome has those little ghosts wandering around, but I don't care. The infernal biome? It's, it's an A tier. I can already feel like hundreds of little kids <laughs> being angry at me right now for some reason. Uh, the candy biome. Oh my god. I remember the day when I made a review about the update which brought in this ugly biome into the game. And people just could not accept. I had my own opinions and views which didn't align with theirs. And I wasn't kissing the developers butts. I said this openly. I didn't like some of the biomes added in that update. I cannot imagine myself and other Roblox players booting up the game and wanting to create a world in which society's biggest problem is diabetes. Actually, that already exists. Like, I never wanted to build a world out of candy. I'm not for. And many other players done as well. This biome is useless. I got to be honest, it doesn't look awful. If I saw this as a concept of digital art, I would genuinely say this biome is aesthetically pleasing. But that's about it. It's probably if not the least used biome in the entire game. The corrupted biome will have some company. E tier. I got to be honest, I have no idea why I hate this biome so much. Like I literally hate it. Whenever I see it, it makes my blood boil. Maxim, I respect your never ending love for Adventure Time. But I'm just voicing my opinion. It's not personal. Oh my god. Oh no. The cursed biome isn't any better. I have never felt that desire to use this in any of my maps. I, I just hate the look of it. It looks dull compared to any other biome because usually it's not really assisted by any vegetation. By vegetation I mean like the smaller crystals. I really don't have much to say about this biome, I can never imagine myself using it. I do have a theory, the blue crystal which makes up the grounds is a chemically manufactured substance. But that's a video for another day. F tier. Oof. Am I gonna be getting whooped in the comments today? <laughs> Coming up next, the recently added permafrost biome. Finally a biome I don't have to rant about. I love the trees. I find it cool that the trees are so big that they cover up a lot of the land in comparison to trees from other biomes. 
This biome does a great job at evoking the theme of mystery or uneasiness, due to the reason that you never know what's prowling underneath these trees. I ain't gonna lie though, the trees carry this biome very very hard. A very respectable A tier. Let's go with the savannah biome next. It's not often I find myself using this biome, but it's probably one of the best biomes when you let it go wild. You spam the region with trees like Mr. Beast, throw in the plant fertilizer, and you got a very nice looking area. Like in particular, I really love the look of what seems to be tall dried grass. I was supposed to give this A tier, but I think it deserves an S. Alright, I think this is a very interesting biome, the Enchanted Biome. I have a very strong feeling any person out there who ever tried recreating Japan inside of World Box used this biome because of the pink trees. Although the biome is deemed and called the Enchanted Biome, it never really feels magical. It may as well be renamed Cherry Blossom Biome or something like that, and nobody would even bat an eye. Although I'm certain these trees aren't cherry blossoms, but they're pink, so therefore they're Japanese. I actually use this biome quite often, it's probably like my second most used biome. <laughs> Next we have the swamp. What did they do to you? I remember this biome used to be cool before one update completely ruined it. You could see the swamp water near the shoreline, that was a very cool feature. What happened? What happened? You can barely tell this is a swamp. Fast forward to the modern day, the water dried out. I have no idea what happened. Get out of my swamp, you liberals. What have you done to my water? Weren't there frogs enough? I like the trees. I like the color palette. I think it looks good. But I cannot stop recalling the better days when the swamp actually had water. I'll, I'll, I'll put it in D. It's not the worst biome, but it definitely serves me the most disappointment whenever I look at it. Ugh, the jungle biome. I usually imagine jungle trees to be enormous, but in comparison to the permafrost trees, oh, why are the jungle trees so small? <laughs> they are seriously out of proportion. But I do happen to be using this biome quite frequently. It can be really beautiful if you pay the attention to the leveling of your landscape, perhaps run a river through it. You can make this biome look very, very pretty. And it goes without saying the jungle has monkeys. Who doesn't like monkeys? I really think the jungle biome reads like a revamp or something. Oh, this, is a, this is a tough one. Someone wants to put an S tier, but I think... Mm, C. I like the color palette, but I believe the assets could be improved. The trees don't really give off the impression of, wow, this is a huge jungle tree. It's just like, oh yeah, it's just like a tiny porch of trees. Take inspiration from the permafrost biome. A jungle should be a biome full of mystery and vegetation. You should not be able to see the ground. Now it's time to get dusty. It's time to get hot. I better stop. We got the arcane desert. I really do enjoy looking at these what I believe are supposed to be acacia or coconut palms accompanied by these weeds. It just looks phenomenal. It deserves an S tier. And at last, and perhaps the least. Actually, nothing can be worse than the corrupted biome. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going back to you. This is like the king of F tier. We got the lemon biome. Despite myself never really using this biome, I would never remove it if it came with a randomly generated world. This biome never annoys me. I really like the color palette chosen for this biome. I think it has a nice look to it, but in terms of usability, I don't see myself considering choosing a bunch of American supersized lemon trees in my lawn. Like, look-wise, I think this biome should be, like, up around, I don't know, A or B? I don't really know where to put the lemon biome, because putting it at C tier, I, I don't think it's respectable, because the lemon biome isn't that bad. But... <laughs> Putting it next to the mushroom biome, that's not rude. That's actual disrespect. B tier. And if you actually decide to recreate Japan and repeat the history, you get a wasteland biome. I don't have an icon for it over here, but I'll put it in D tier. It's not really that interesting. I'm really looking forward to reading the comment section of this video. I hope we can keep it civil and well-mannered. But please let me know what's your favorite biome inside of World Box. And please make sure to check out my conspiracy surrounding the monoliths. I'll see you soon.